Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of AutoCraft. My name is Zane, and we are in the shopping district because there are quite a few shops open that weren't open last episode. First off, we got a beautiful iron shop by Death Dealer, who has got blocks and ingots over there. And probably one of the most important shops is Astazora's shulker shell shop so he made an automatic shulker farm and he has shulker boxes for sale galore however this shop does not have an ender chest so i don't really know if it is a shop yet it's kind of a, looks like a uh, caravan type thing but there's no ender chest which is a little disappointing but we have two inner chests in my shop, so why don't we come over here and buy some shulkers? And thanks to Asta's shop, we now have two stacks of shulker shells. So why don't we go back to our starter base and start crafting up some shulker boxes. Oh, and I almost forgot two other shops. So we have a bee and slime shop, which I think is run by... Alex FPS and the mechanic. And then we have what looks like the building of a guardian shop. Sitting here waiting for skeletons to drop is not the most fun or the fastest way to repair anything that I have in just in general, because as you can tell, it is quite slow. So I think we can do better than this it has been helpful for early game but now that we you know especially use the elytra a whole bunch we need a faster way to get xp but first i went over to my industrial district industrial district wow <laughs> and filled up a lot more wood in all of these in the wood shop especially acacia i had a lot of acacia wood to go through so it's pretty much a double chest and a half for most of these. And Acacia almost has two double chests. So auto crafters, come buy some wood. But for the XP issue, I have a village right here. And I have a ton of sticks that come from the wood farm. So I think the easiest thing to do is actually just make use of villager trades and trade some sticks for emeralds. And anywhere where there is netherrack, there is at least one villager. So there might, I might have, you know, nine or something villagers here. Some of the houses have like two villagers in them. So why don't we gather a couple of these villagers and start making them into, I think it's Fletcher's. But I'll find out and I'll come back once I have at least a couple of villagers. Ooh, a nice little fox. However... If I'm going to be collecting villagers, I kind of need a place to put them. <laughs> so I cleared out this little area next to the village for a nice little big building, I guess. I have a design made in creative, so why don't we just go ahead and build it since I do not have yet access to replay mod. And after a couple hours of work, this building is looking really good, I think, and it for, you know, for my ability, I think it's looking pretty darn good. It looks the same from all sides, basically. It's just symmetrical, but it is quite a bit bigger than I actually was expecting it to be. However, with no door, there's also no ceiling or flooring for the second floor. So I think before we even worry about trying to place villagers and all that fun stuff, I should put in a ceiling and a flooring to at least split this building up and make it look a little more finished. And now that we have a basic interior with the deep slate ceiling and some nice trim on the first floor, up the stairs, and we have a really basic wood floor design, I think we need to go ahead and start bringing some villagers, villagers in here because we need to get some to trade sticks from the tree farm because that tree farm produces a mega buttload amount of sticks. Why don't we go ahead and snag some villagers? 
So ironically, the hardest part was not actually getting the villagers in here. It was actually trading for all of this stuff. But for a little bit of trading, I got some emeralds from these Fletchers purely by trading sticks here. But the farmers were quite a bit tougher. As you can see, this composter actually has compost in it. Because it, it's hard to get that stuff when you don't have farms. This one was easy. This guy was easy to get because I could just trade emeralds for bread. But this guy, I had to get wheat and carrots. And I decided to actually grab some cakes. And I think we can go put some of these cakes in members' bases. Why don't we actually head on over there to get, to put some cakes in everyone's base. Alex has such a beautiful base. His wizard tower and his nice little cabin here on the cliff. Let's just go ahead and um, just put it right in the middle. All right, on to the next person. Alex and Clumsy have both started their main base areas, and I think we should probably start working on that. Instead of working on the industrial district, maybe next episode we start on that. But for Clumsy, there's his cake. Definitely got to get rustic in on this. So let's just uh, place his right there. Got to get our good buddy mechanic. And why don't we just put this next to uh, apparently Axel. Put it on the front counter. Yeah, let's put it on the front counter. There we go. Should give one to boss. Let's just put it next to his throne. Give it to the gnome himself. And let's put it in this meeting room. Room, I guess. Let's just put it. Oh, you can't place it on carpet, really? Um, oh boy. Uh, we'll put it right there. There we go. And for our last cake, why don't we go ahead and give it to death over here? Yeah, let's put it down here. Not going down that way. <laughs> um, let's just put it on this balcony or railing. Balcony. This is a railing. I guess that works. <laughs> Cursed floating cake. Now, there's no reason to do this except for the fact that I just wanted to give people some cake because I had cake from trading with villagers, so I decided to give some people cake. And while I was working in the industrial area, there is something new in the shopping district that we should probably talk about a little bit. This mountain hoists up a well-created dragon head because there is a dragon king joining the server soon. And we will need to pick the side of either following the dragon king or joining La Resistance. And we'll, we'll, we can wait a little bit, but we will need to decide what side to join. And we'll probably get to this in much more detail in the following episodes. But to whoever made this, it looks incredible. It looks awesome. Job well done to whoever made this. And I will be going into more detail about this Dragon King resistance in upcoming episodes. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that will be the end of today's autocraft episode hope you all had fun i certainly had fun and we will be starting our main base area in the next episode and maybe talk a little bit more about the dragon king so hope everyone stays happy stay healthy and i will see you all next time goodbye